was in Caddy, I, I don't know why. You're very purdy. I'm sorry, I'm not being forward or nothing, but you are. You're very sweet. Morning, Arthur. Strange and horrible and an O'Driscoll, but sweet. I'm not an O'Driscoll, miss. Okay, well, whatever you say. Welcome back to episode three of Red Dead Redemption 2. Sorry, I was just had to listen to that conversation with Kieran. Pretty cool. They're obviously sweet on each other. She called him an O'Driscoll and he walked off. He is not an O'Driscoll, I don't think. At least not anymore. He's with us now, so I'll be interesting to keep an eye on these two. Who is it? Mary Beth. You need good in town. Finding out about that train. Thank you. It was fun. Well, I wouldn't say it was all fun. Houston. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Let's donate. I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. I'll just give you a deer and again. Can't meat. wait to taste this. Who's this? Good morning, Arthur. You seem better. Yeah, I almost oh. feel normal again. You were never normal, Marston. John Marston. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Mm. Who are they? Hmm. Let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. Goes without saying. What am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. Oh, Miss Roberts. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. <laughs> Folk, they ain't so bad. It's nasty out there on your own. I know. Said, uh, that's who we took in. You'll be safe here. Easy now. You there. Would you be interested in some friendly competition? Oh, okay. I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? A real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles, wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Easy, man. Damn it all! How the hell did you beat me, huh? Oh. Better shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? Um, ten dollars. Come on, could win yeah, real big, huh? Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. So there's no more bottles left. All right, real simple. First one to hit four flying birds wins. Four flying birds. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot. What? He's got a rifle and I've not. Oh man, you stupid, stupid. Ah, oh. oh, so you can shoot, huh? Ah. <laughs> oh. Here it is, okay? Man of my word. What? 
Money lending. Hold on, what's this? Um, take money. Yeah. Appreciate it. Sure. <laughs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Okay. This guy owes us money. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. Oh, really? Hey, get back here. He's actually proud of robbing us. Okay, I don't feel bad now to get my money back from this guy. Because he's, he's proud he's robbed us. Look at him go. Last chance to save your house. Oh, that train is moving. The train is going so fast. The more I chase, the more you owe. Money's fine. I'll keep it. Yeah. Where's he gonna go? Where's he gonna go? You don't want to get me angry, boy. Don't you give up? You got him. So it's in a tree. Yeah. That's the tree for sure. Oh, no, that's just a shadow on it. I thought that was the hole in it. Um, Looks like the tree. Ah, there we are. There's the hole. Found it. Just can't get to it. There we go. Okay, let's go. That's cool. That right, shows what everybody's donating to the camp. That's well cool. Uh, I don't know. I'll go for that. Got to do anyway. The quantity and quality of tonics available at the medical wagon has increased. Oh, I didn't know we had our own medical wagon. Uh, wagon. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Collected on that ranch hand. Slippery feller. Lucky I got him. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. 
He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Yeah, I'd love to see him beat someone for get the money back. Look at him. Scrawny little... Ugh. Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Now let me eat. Hey, Arthur. Hey, can I talk to you a minute? Not again, Abigail. Not ever. We're going. I had better days. What I, I would give that. for a good Thank course. you, Mr. Morgan. For sparing me like that. I'll work hard. I am not a bad fella. You'll soon warm to me. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. Boy. Hmm? Thank you for saving my life. Well, yeah, of course. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Let's go, girl. Yeah. Alright, let's see what she wants. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Um, is, um... Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. 
Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Well, that's what we came here to do, so... I'm curious to find out. Let's help. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. and rediscovery of theology. <laughs> One hundred years ago. Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Uh... Um, not decided. I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? Turtles? I don't know. <laughs> Safety? Purpose? Safety and... Meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Oh Leave me God. alone, Arthur! Was my ass to save my ass? Because he took my ass. Oh my God. Oh, I am on my horse. Oh, thank God. They're just using you! Telling you what you want to hear! Exactly. What do you know about it, Arthur? Yeah. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. I don't have to answer to you. Oh, God. Come on, he's right there. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. I was... Just fine by myself. Stop! Let's talk about this! 
Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Yeah. This is none of your damn business. Coming through. You little dick. Sorry, Mr. Christ's sakes, Jamie. Just hold up a minute. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! Hmm? What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Work now, girl! Yeah. What? Is he actually shooting at us? Oh my god! Oh my god! You damn lunatic! Thank God, he also is about to die. Please, Arthur, I'm a man now. I, I, I found something, a calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Oof. Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. <clears throat> Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. So this That's all a long time ago, son. So this impresses her, though. We found Jamie. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. And didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Oh my Jesus. god. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. <laughs> All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Well, please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well... Um, don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from... Me. ...and when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. 
Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. He told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. We're different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Now, let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. Good music. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Make it quick or I might run off again. You've been the cause of enough sorrow around here. Hey, open your eyes. We going in then? Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. I feel like... The luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Ooh. Right, let's go and see what Ozea is doing. The con man at work. No, I don't need a weapon. Interesting. Well, it's trusting. I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. What are these talking about? But I know how to get things done efficiently. All right, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What are you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, 
I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Now, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. That's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Hmm. <laughs> Well, we get paid well for this, I'll say. Really? Really. Lead the way. He's at the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Emerald Ranch, how are you feeling about things? How are you feeling about things now? What things? I see you've been taking good care of that horse. This place, the gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. Ah, here we go. Ah. <laughs> That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, and I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Hmm. I think we should wait till morning. Let's wait. Okay. <laughs> Let's get on with this, Mr. Uh, Morgan. Yes. <clears throat> Let me head up there and make a fool of myself. <laughs> with pleasure. Just don't get caught. Because it's me, they'll shoot first. <clears throat> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Oh, there's one on the porch. Let's stay way back. My good man! Someone inside as well. Fairly well, fairly well. <laughs> is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost. How many years? I was lost That's many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. 
You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> As y'all say, it's all coming well. Junior, what's your name, son? Robert Crawford III, sir. Dip. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Both of you, sir. My name. My name is. Now don't tell no one because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I want to perform on Broadway. Ooh. Now that's not important or relevant. I have been saved. I've been found. Oh no, I, I saw it in your eyes. You think I'm a nut? You think I'm a nut, Bob Crawford the third? I ain't interested in no religious talk. I'm not a religious man. Money put, money put. Keep him talking, Hosea. Ooh, bottle of whiskey. You ever meet a Scot who didn't hobble in old age? But the English and old, sir. Gin! They drink gin! And what is gin made with? Get to the barn on scene. We've not finished. And what does the juniper do? Creates movement in the spine. See? With More cash. Hosea, keep him talking. I was worse than you, sir. I was broke. Get out of here. Look at me now. I dance every night. Women adore me. I can Seriously, it's all about the spine. We think our brain. <sighs> oh, shit. Shit. Is that better? Just to be. Hell, come on, let's go. Oh, I need some some energy. Come on, Hosea. We wait for him. Is he coming? Wait. Done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Yep. Oh, oh. oh shit. Don't shoot you with the I'll say he was gonna pop him then. Get out of here. Damn it, I think you should have been more careful. Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly, anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. So how long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Here we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. 
Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for it. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Uh, yeah, I'll come back to camp. Sure. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <sighs> okay, so let's go and see what Abigail wants. Hey, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <sighs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Jack, where's Jack? There's Jack. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll mount so up. So cool. Lift you on when you're ready. I'm all right. Thank you for asking. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. Let's go then. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> You've been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. Yep. Right fast, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> faster, Uncle Arthur. Come on, let's go you faster. See that deer? Over there. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. I can't wait to get started. Well, first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. Mm. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod, just Twitching? Don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Whoop, think I got one. I see, I see. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Oh, Ooh. Jack, it's a smallmouth bass. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Uh, I wanna keep that. <clears throat> That's pretty big. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. You see that cast, Jack? There! Got him! Seems like he's taking a rest oh, look now. Go. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Bullshit. <laughs> Not laughing, man. Come on, you fat thing. Got ya. Well, this is clearly the spot for smallmouth bass. Sure is boring, Uncle I know. Born as hell. <laughs> Dan, something happened. I actually like you fishing. You can get food for days. I do a lot of fishing in Red Dead if Online. You're lucky. If you can tell. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Relaxing. Huh. I think you've got a bite. Got one, Jack. Oh, it's only a small one. Now oh, throw that one back in. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. 
Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. It's nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. You have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow. But merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. I actually forgot those guys were after us. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Yeah, let's head back. Yeah. Forward. Why did you lie about rock. where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us, to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. this necklace ain't that pretty not the luckiest did you thank uncle arthur no need we had a good time what's wrong nothing just met some folk i better go speak with dutch okay hey you did real fine kid thanks we got a problem what i just met some guys out near the river a fella named uh, um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the Ross. other fella's name. Ross. Yeah. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing <clears throat> something stupid. 
We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. If he only knew that we was about to rub a train, me and John Marston. So you, you saw Pinkertons, did you? Saw, met, and got the full message. And what did you think? I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. Everyone keeps talking about Blackwater. Morning, Arthur. Hello. I'd like to know more about Blackwater. What actually happened? Um. Where is... Oh, he's not in camp. John Marston is at the wagon, isn't it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Morning, Arthur. Hey, it's Tilly. Hey, so that fella who was hassling you in Valentine. I'll tell you another time, okay? Okay, sure. Let's get moving. Mr. Arthur. I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Kieran. Mm-hmm. Keep an eye out. We've got our Driscolls. We've got uh, the Pinkertons. Here. Yep. Good girl. You're okay, girl. Uh, can we feed it? Yeah. Oop, and we can go this way. Right, it looks like we're gonna go and rob a train, guys. And I can't wait because I hope it's a good payout. I really need some cash. Okay, we're here. Who's that? Sean. Is that Sean McGuire? What's Sean doing here? Oh, that just. It ain't your job. I should have backed up. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Grow up. Now let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall.
Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. There you go, guys. All the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, you had your feet up the whole time, playing sick. And fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. They're left here, towards roads. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. <laughs> that could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Because oh, so I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, it takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, <clears throat> angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, knock the tracks with the wagon, then jump. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth, and get a bullet back. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. If we handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the track. Yeah. Mr. Tight. Marston! <laughs> Mr. Smith! Mr. McGuire! Yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. <laughs> I'll still or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. Chance. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. Go on! Get on there! Hey! Bastard! All yours, Captain. So go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and sure. ready to get ah. shot! Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! Mm. I need all there your you money. Let's make this you quick, people! Come on! Up. We ain't leaving until this bag's full! Pay me what you got, mister, and you won't get hurt. I ain't got nothing. Empty we had a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here. 
Hold on a minute. What's the problem here? Honey, hey, do this. Just give, give it. it to him, Thomas, Yeah, just please. give it. Just give it. Okay. Okay. In the bag. God Everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. Oh, you you make me sick. You ever seen you, you seem got. to think we're playing games. Oh, really? I want to cap. God damn it. Oh, sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm Thank losing you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be over. Gentlemen, this is wrong. Honey, let's make nothing quick. else. Make me hurt you. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. You show this son of a bitch we wish my down here. Quick, come on! Please, please. Everything you got. Don't have me. Money. You missed one, John. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Empty your pockets, mister. You can be on your way. Don't make me hurt you. Another one who won't pay? Put it now! Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Stay everything down, you got. Let's go. Give me everything you got. Pay me what you got, mister. You won't get her. Cool. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Don't see Sean. Okay. None of you. What is it? You alright? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? Probably something in here, Arthur. Manual pick. Oof, that went through Sean's head. <laughs> you okay, Sean? Fuck's sake. Ah! Oh, fuck's sake. Watch yourselves. Oof. I'll look and you provide the cover. Try me best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. These folks are rich, all right. Oh. Oh. Gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. And this racket's in there. Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. All right, we should probably be going now. We'll take that. Come on, we should get out of here. Almost there. Uh... There's some decent stuff. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horse, Schmidt, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get <clears throat> killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more to turn up. Big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Miss one. Shit. And we got more coming from the trees there.
You see what they call you, the professionals in the outfit? Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna <clears throat> end the episode right there. $402. Finally got some cash now, so I'll be able to modify my weapons a bit and buy some... I don't know, food, clothing, whatever I need for my travels. Anyway, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and I'll see you in the next episode.